On today's menu, a deliciously crispy recipe so easy to make, time really fries by. Super crispy, tofu katsu, fingers. Gonna make a simple, quick katsu sauce, and by simple, I mean literally only needs three things. Two tablespoons ketchup. Splash of toasted sesame oil. One tablespoon soy sauce. Mix. Place half a cup of all-purpose flour into a bowl. Half cup water. Season with a pinch of salt. Mix until combined. Pour about three quarter cups of panko into another bowl. Season the panko with some salt. Carefully slice 350 grams of extra firm tofu into sticks. Roll the tofu in the flour mixture. Use a fork to transfer the tofu onto the panko. Roll and stick the panko onto the tofu. Set aside the prepped tofu. I'm just going to repeat those steps for the rest of the tofu sticks. Boy, that looks amazing already. Time to fry these up, get them really nice and crispy. Now you can bake these about maybe 400 degrees, spray some oil on them for about 10 minutes or so. But I find frying them in the frying pan just gives it that really nice, super crispy, authentic kind of Japanese breadcrumb crispiness. Frying pan. Medium heat. One cup avocado oil. Alternatively, you can use grapeseed or veggie oil. Stick a bamboo chopstick into the oil. If you see some bubbles, the oil is ready. Fry the tofu in small batches for about 45 seconds on each side. Place the tofu onto a paper towel to absorb the excess oil.
Repeat with the rest of the tofu. Plate. Parchment paper. Tofu katsu fingers. Garnish with some freshly chopped cabbage and tomato. Remember to plate your delicious sauce and you're ready to serve. You can now make this deliciously crispy treat with absolute confidence. Boil some water for the noodles. Chop down about 6 grams of broccolini into bite-sized pieces. Soak a quarter pound of thin rice noodles in the hot water for about 3 to 4 minutes. I'm using about 150 grams of mixed mushrooms here. I have some fresh shiitake, some cremini mushrooms, and some shimeji mushrooms, but of course you can use whatever mushrooms you like. Two cremini mushrooms sliced. Chop up 50 grams of fresh shiitake mushrooms. Chop two sticks of green onion into bite-sized pieces. One tablespoon hoisin sauce. One teaspoon toasted sesame oil. One teaspoon dark soy sauce. Two tablespoons soy sauce. Stir. Give the noodles a stir to get rid of the excess starch, then drain out the water. Non-stick pan. Medium heat. A good drizzle of olive oil. Saute the broccolini for 2 to 3 minutes. Mushrooms. Saute the mushrooms for another 2 to 3 minutes. Noodles. Sauce. Saute for another 2 to 3 minutes until the noodles are cooked. Plate. Sprinkle over some white sesame seeds. You can 
now make this easy and fast noodle dish with absolute confidence. Half cup black rice. Rinse and drain the rice two to three times to get rid of the excess starch. Half cup water. So this here is wakame seaweed, traditionally used to make seaweed salad. Now this stuff expands like crazy, but it will also add an incredible delicious umami to that rice. So we're going to add it with the rice, but we're going to break them down first. Literally we'll only be using about one gram of this. Tear the seaweed into small pieces and add it to the rice. Keep in mind the seaweed will expand. medium high heat. When the water starts to bubble, give it a good stir and turn the heat down to medium low. Cover and cook for 15 minutes. About 50 grams of purple cabbage, finely sliced. Chop about half a small carrot into fine matchsticks. One stick green onion, finely chopped. Cube half of a large avocado. After 15 minutes, turn the heat off and let the rice steam for 10 minutes. Chop a couple of cooked beets into small cubes. When the rice is cooked, give it a good stir and let it cool. There's really not too much to it. It's really simple, but really delicious. Now this episode is actually a companion video to the recipe that's inside the Cook with Confidence cookbook. And it's also the picture on the back cover. If you'd like to learn more about this cookbook or the vegan ramen cookbook, I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check that out, take a sneak peek inside the book, or order your signed copy. Now, we just need to make that delicious dressing. One tablespoon lemon juice. One tablespoon maple syrup. One tablespoon miso paste. This is a Korean chili paste or gochujang. You can buy this at any Asian supermarkets, or I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check out how to make this really easily, kind of a quick version at home. One tablespoon gochujang. One teaspoon toasted sesame oil. One and a half tablespoons soy sauce. Whisk. I'm just making enough for a bowl for myself today, but this dressing should be good enough for two portions. 
All right, let's see if I can assemble this in the same manner. Generously plate the rice and seaweed. Beets. Avocado. Carrots. Purple cabbage. Quarter cup edamame. Quarter cup corn. Green onion. Dressing. Sprinkle with black sesame seeds, white sesame seeds. Serve with a wedge of lime. I think that's pretty darn close. What do you think? You can now enjoy this light and refreshing poke bowl with absolute confidence. This is definitely going to be very tasty. This bowl is definitely a party I'd like to attend. You get amazing flavor and incredible texture that just really plays really well harmoniously together. You have that saltiness from the soy sauce, a little spiciness from the gochujan, and you get the toasted sesame oil aroma, as well as that kind of umami sort of flavor from the miso paste and the soy sauce and the gochujan. The lemon juice adds a little bit of that tanginess as well as it just really brightens up that dressing. You get that sweetness from the maple syrup and it goes really well with the tender, sweet, cooked beets. The rice definitely just absorbs all of that delicious dressing. And of course you don't have to use black rice, you can use whatever rice you have on hand. I would recommend short grain or sushi rice. The crunchy texture from the thinly sliced matchstick carrots and the shredded red cabbage is just delicious. Adds that really beautifully crunchy texture. The edamame and the corn also adds into that crunchy texture and that corn adds that delicious sweetness that goes really well with the acidity in the dressing. Of course the avocado adds that delicious buttery texture that goes really well with those cooked beets as well as the soft fluffy rice. So incredibly tasty. I mean that rice just absorbs all of that dressing as well as that delicious umami from the wakame seaweed that we cooked along with the rice. Visually stunning. Definitely one of those dishes that you have to make more often. I can definitely sit down with a big bowl of this and just eat this non-stop. It is so tasty. If you love easy and tasty recipes like this, then definitely check out the Vegan Ramen Cookbook or the Cook with Confidence Cookbook. I'll leave a link in the description box below where you can check these out, take a sneak peek inside the book, or order your signed copy. Of course, as always, remember to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you won't miss a single episode.